Hi everyone, I'm Greg Gilbert. I'm responding to Rich's, Rich Seuss's uh, invitation to share a video poem uh, at the Choyanato site. Um, this is a poem that I actually previewed in rough draft uh, months ago at a Choyanato's reading. So it may seem a bit prescient because it has to do with viruses. I'll just say that uh, I tend to be an optimist by nature, but I'm also a pragmatist. I recognize the harm that we're doing to the earth and how we're stretching our resources to the point of collapse, both in terms of a society and in terms of our planet. Um, so I'm hoping that even though this poem is a bit of a downer, that maybe it suggests that there's a future we can avoid by taking some responsibility in our own lives. This is certainly a, a worthy topic for conversation, not one that involves, that involves uh, finger pointing, but one that says, how can we together and individually um, save the earth, save our society? The title of this poem is No Curtain Calls, No Critics. Imagine a virus. No, not just one. Imagine realms of viruses in transit, accompanying commuters, people with carry-ons, people in scooters, bicycles, maladies that arrive in driverless cars, on trains, on the wings of eagles surfing the warming currents of the troposphere. An ancient story of fanged gossamer, the oft-told tale of a gluttonous house guest, an insatiable stomach that plunders, consumes, disgorges, and sops the leavings. Imagine legions of viruses deployed like miniature carrier pigeons, bacteria bombardiers, faster than AI, than prayer or legalese dispensers of hard justice, and the agonizing realization that we were warned. Flop sweats, pustles, the states stymied by panic and dystopian dune buggies, engines powered on rat shit and mayhem, a second wave of horror to ransack the scattered leavings of the world. Imagine Skulls and dancing bones, born of this new black specter, the rattling contortions of a brilliant new art scene, Commedia dell'arte's doctor, beaked and brandishing the foil of an unbuttoned rectal thermometer, painters and poets and playwrights, Bosch and Boccaccio reborn, the macabre dance reprisals, these bones, these dried bones, the somber phalanxes of Gen FedEx arriving in step vans to call out the dead amid the quieting lamentations of mass extinction. Dio de los muertos, everybody gets a death, and you get a death who get a death, and so on. Shall we provide a worthy introduction, gild the premiere with anticipation, farcical trumpets to herald the chaos, a chorus of pundits to illumine the way, distribute the black ribboned playbills, dim the lights, and cue music for the stunning late hour recognition that Perma and Frost have retired their act. Who knew? Indeed, who knew? The ensemble is clamoring in the wings, under the rafters, within the orchestra pit, and behind the dusty canvas backdrop of wheat field with crows. Everybody, put your hands together for the microbe resurrection a plume of invisible ashes at the apex of trillion swan dives, poised at the brink 
preparing for their reign. Throw wide the curtains. Look up from your screens. Death's laughing head at the top of the world. Rictus gasping. Guffaws beneath the mockery of a toca blanche and a memento mori to go menu just desserts. Plastic bottled water from the river Lethe. All this vaunted purpose down the biological drain. Where the next apex competitors can rummage through Earth's latest strata. The cachet of a species overthrown by success. Hot dogs, soda cans, libraries, the whole postmodern artifice of shrink-wrapped residue, the leavings, a compacted sampling apropos of nothing. San Shakespeare's speechless death, the utter void of never was. Sans Jesus, Vesero, mythology, Wall Street, Rousseau and Facebook, Buddha, Exxon, us. Lean forward for the grand denouement, the falling action of an overcaffeinated primate, a final encore, the stage lights going dark. Make way for the ghost of primordial force, the exhalations of oceans and jungles older than our tree-hugging precursors, older than our ill-fated ascendancy. Everything a rip and winkle dream, the earth turning in her sleep, shaking off its anthropocene slumber like a fever that's finally broken just before waking. Thank you.